talking. We'll get warmed up. It's a cold one. And then we'll start getting through this. So you should all be able to see uh, Boxmate live right now. Just give me a little thumbs up with you if you can all see that. Yeah, great. Excellent. Okay, so what you can see on the screen here, we've got a 15-minute AMRAP to start with. I've, I've called it Primal Complex because it's going to be a complex of lower body movements tonight. We're going to be performing 10 squats, 10 lunges, 10 step-ups. That's going to be five reps on your left and five on your right. The focus today here, people, is quality of movement, all right? We had that big burnout yesterday on Monday if you joined us. This is going to kind of be think, most focusing on posture, position, and all that good stuff, all right? So we're going to start with that. Once we finish that, we're going to move into a little 10-minute EMOM, plank hold with an alternating hand reach for 30 seconds. And then the second minute, we're going to move into a 30-second plank hold with an alternating leg pickup, a.k.a. glute burn, when we get there. So that's going to be on the menu tonight. Any questions so far? Cool. And now I'm going to phase out to AJ. Da -da 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 -da. Look at that. Getting better at this, aren't we? All right. So you should see a handsome chap on your screen right now. Um, we're going to talk about the warm up. So we're going to start with eight roll and reach. AJ is going to come onto the floor. Make sure we've got enough space for this. Just watch this to start with people and then we'll go through it together. Rolling back. Big V-sit, straddle legs, reach as far forward as you can. Once you've done eight of those, he's then going to come on to all fours and he's going to give me eight hip circles, drawing a big circle with your knee, dog over the fire hydrant, taking a wee, right? Then we're going to move into contralateral dead bugs, lying on our back. Dead bug, remember, legs straight, arms face, palms facing each other. We're going opposite arm, opposite leg. That's one. And that's two. All right, you're going to do eight of those. Cool. Thumbs up. That makes sense. Excellent. Let's start with eight roll and reach people in your own time. Off we go. Uh, Mia and Hannah Mead, you need to mute your microphones for me, please. Sorry. That's all right. No worries. Just letting you know. So eight, roll and reach to start with everybody. Do your best, whatever space you've got there. Once you've done your eight, following AJ, if you were with him, you're going to go into eight hip circles. Remember on all fours, drawing a big circle with one knee, you're just going to do uh, four on one side and then four on the other. So big circle with that knee. Get those hips nice and warm. Then you're gonna go onto the floor. Make sure that low black head is on the floor. Legs are as straight as possible. And we're going opposite arm, opposite leg. Focus on keeping your heels facing the ceiling, please. And the leg is coming down and arm coming down as close to the floor as possible. Do not touch the floor though. So eight of those, please. Then you can transition straight into your next round of six reps of roll and reach. So six reps of everything now. Six reps of everything, hip circles and dead bugs, contralaterals. Excellent stuff. Then we're on to four reps once you've done six. Oops, I've got to shoot. Uh, Kit, I've just seen your question. I will answer that when we get there. 
Once you've done four reps, people, you are on to two reps for everything. Keep it nice and even. Two times table and reverse. Can only go up to eight, right? <laughs> That's it, two AJ. That's it. <laughs> Excellent. Once you've done that, you finish the warm up, come to the screen again, and we're going to talk about primal complexes. We'll start a body weight, AJ, to start with, but have the, the objects nearby. I'll just let everyone finish up before I start talking. Okay. I think everyone's nearly there. Looking, scrolling through. All right, looks good. Okay. Right, so we're starting with a primal complex 15 minute AMRAP. You are going to start with 10 squats. So we're just going to go through body weight variations first and then we'll spice things up if you want to. So 10 squats, regular air squats, we all know that, but let's focus on quality. So bum back and down, driving knees out. We're getting that hip crease below parallel. AJ keeping his arms up, keep his back in a nice neutral position. All right, so that's what we're looking for with squats, lunges. Uh, we're going to step forward on these, not backwards. So just make sure you have enough space. Body weight, just stepping forwards, alternating as you go. Focusing on getting that knee down to the ground. Keep a nice, tall, pretty posture. Step ups. Ideally, this is what we have set up here. This is high enough. We do not want to have a high step up station. So when AJ's leg is on the box there, you can see that his hip crease is above his knee. All right, so that's ideally the height we want for you. We will talk about options if you do not have a step up position. But what we're looking for tonight is we're going to load with that front leg, drive and push through that lead leg and knee up, toe up. Athlete, look at that, beautiful. All right, we're going to go for five reps on each side. You're not going to alternate, but you'll do five on one side and then you'll do five on the other. He's got it, all right? If you haven't got something to step up to or you don't want to uh, wreck your new DFS sofa, then you're going to go for reverse lunges to a high knee. So we'll step back, high knee, knee up, toe up. Beautiful. All right, five on one side, five on the other. So if you want to go through this body weight, that's you for body weight. Spicing it up, I'll try to go through a few variations, but you can do as many different variations as you want. You could pick up the kettlebell. Let's start with kettlebell. You could go goblet squats. Just give me like two reps, AJ. Uh, so goblet squats. You could then go into obviously your lunges, stepping forward with that goblet squat position. Yeah, just give me, that's it. You know what I mean? So we can just go lunges forward. We can go obviously on the plate for step ups. All right, you get the picture. Cool. You can do the same thing with a dumbbell, holding it in that position. I won't show you those movements. You understand that. You can hold it, obviously, by your side, like a farmer's position. So you, you can do all these movements, apart from probably the squats with a dumbbell or kettlebell by your side. You can also use a barbell when we get there in a minute. But otherwise, other options are, uh, AJ, let's go for overhead. Overhead lunges. You can do overhead step ups. He's got it. Whoop, there it is. All right. You can obviously use a sandbag. Thank you, mate. And you can obviously use a barbell, people. Do you get the picture of what I'm trying to paint here? Thumbs up. All right. So the goal of this is we are going to work for 15 minutes. You could start with body weight for the first five. Then maybe at five minutes, you go, right, I want to spice things up a little bit. And then for the last five minutes, you might change your movement or implement again. So what I want you to do now is you're going to have two or three minutes to get organized, ask me questions, and then we'll get rocking and rolling. This is going to sound absurd, but would a car boot be too high to step into? A car boot? 
Yeah, like if I pop the, like pop the boot in my car open. Pop the boot in your car. Oh, okay. Off we meant you're going to get into the engine bay. <laughs> 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 um, you know, that would be fine, um, Kit. Yeah, that should be absolutely fine. Just obviously <laughs> don't ruin your suspension. That'll be fine. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, can I... I missed it because I was just, just practising pre... before I was meant to. Can yeah. I um, step up holding my dumbbell down on the side, not overhead, yeah? Yes, absolutely, Katie. Okay, fine. Thanks. No worries. Uh, James, quick question. Yeah. Do you this is too high? No, nah, that'd be fine, dude. That'd be fine. Perfect. Cheers, mate. Are you in halls, Ash? Yeah. Literally reminds me of my halls. <laughs> Give me the flashbacks there. <laughs> um, any other questions? Okay, cool. So just get yourself prepared. I see people are kind of getting ready here. Still, make sure your space is safe. Go through some of the movements for me now. Remember on the step ups, we are looking for knee up, toe up. All right, we're trying to channel our inner athlete tonight. Obviously we always are, but tonight extra so. Excellent. I'll give you one minute. So just to reiterate, you start with 10 squats then you've got 10 lunges and then you've got your step ups five reps each side for 10 in total we are working for 15 minutes right everyone is kind of looking like they're ready i think okay just give me double thumbs up if you're kind of ready to go. Yeah, excellent stuff. All right, let's do this. I think, I, where's Ash gone? There he is. <laughs> okay, see him. Went to the toilet real quick, sorry. Yeah, that's all right, man. Okay, let's do this, people. Inbound, 10 seconds. <clears throat> 10 squats to start with. Try and work for the entire 15 minutes. Focus on quality. Three, two, one, send it. 10 squats to start with. AJ is starting with body weight and I will keep you updated how he changes as we go through. <clears throat> you got your 10 squats. You're then hitting your 10 lunges. Remember, if you've got a dumbbell or kettlebell, you can obviously hold it in a goblet squat position, but you can hold it in a front rack position as well on your shoulder, single arm. So that's an option as well. Yeah, looking good, people, so far. Yeah, I like that, Ellie Cottrell. You can also spice up your lunges if you're doing body weight, hands behind your head. Same for the squats. Remember on the step-ups, I want to see a knee up and toe up position. Think sprinter. Channel some Usain Bolt into your life. And if you're going to get the hands in, Try not to look like TikTok. You gotta go opposite hands, opposite knee, finish. All right, not same arm, same knee. Because <laughs> that looks very strange. Good work, everybody, so far, liking it. When you're doing your step ups, if you're doing the five reps on one leg, keep the foot that is on the object on there continuously, don't step off and step back on, please. That makes sense. Good stuff. Yeah, liking that variation there, Mia, good stuff. See, if you've got a plate, you can hold it out straight arms in front of you. The main point of this workout is obviously Focusing on basic primal positions, squat, lunge, and step. But we're also trying to challenge ourselves with different weights, different positions. So if you're finding things are pretty comfortable and you're just coasting through, I would argue that you need to challenge yourself a little bit with an implement or something like that. 
like in that Burns, you just pull your toe off a bit more. Dan, try not to give me Bruce Lee cross kick, but I do like it, mate. It's looking good. So just knee up, toe up, mate. Yeah, nice, Julia. Pull your toe up a little bit on your step ups at the finish position. When we are performing our squats, people, today, I want you to try and have your toes as forward as you can or as close to. Obviously, we're trying to get into that deep squat. I want you to have your toes as close to toes forward as you can. Carly, do me a favor, keep your hands off your hips for me. Excellent. So AJ has gone for an overhead position now. We have hit three and a half minutes. On the step up, people at the top, show me you're in control, i.e. don't rush up and down. There's a massive difference when you do that. There should be a slight pause at the top that shows you have control of the movement. Excellent stuff. Katie, just toe up for me when you finish through. That's the one. Well done. Everything looking good, people. We have hit four minutes. Nice. Now, when you're using your arms on the step ups, we are trying to keep the arms close, cheek to cheek. We don't have bit, want to have an arm really far out in front or not really far behind this. You got to imagine like you're sprinting. So think cheek to cheek. Yeah, nice, Kirsty. Just pull your toe up when you finish up. So pull up. That's it. That's what I want to see. Pull your toes up to your shin, people. Nice work, Heidi. Sorry, looking good there. That looks good to me there, Christian. I think switch your arms around, mate, for me. So that, yeah. That, oh, you sorry, you're holding something. Ignore me. <laughs> carry on, mate. Carry on. <laughs> good work, Joe Orchards. Nice front rack position there. When we're moving through these lunges, if you've got an overhead position, make sure we're keeping that rib cage down. Think about your dead bug you did at the start. We want a nice neutral spine. Six minutes has lapsed. If you haven't changed up your variation, please do so now. Doesn't matter if it's back to body weight or you're holding a different object, but try to mix things up as we go through, please. What we got one, Agent? What we got? Oh, double overhand. Oh, AJ's gone for the dumbbell overhead squat. Not going to recommend that if you know you struggle with your overhead squat, but. If you've got that, try it out. Nice work, Hannah Mead. Good squats, Joe Orchard. Just push your bum back a little bit more as you come down, so hips back a bit more. There you go, sit into it. Much better, Danny. Nice, Malcolm. Yeah, like that, Christian. Good stuff. 
as you move through this, people, and as you're changing things up, you will start finding where you have weaknesses left to right, especially on the step ups. One side probably feels great, the other side feels funky. When you're stepping up, think about pushing your big toe into the ground or into the plates or whatever you're stepping up onto. That will fire your glutes and give you more stabilization through the foot. So what I want is an active foot at all times. We've only hit the over halfway point. Everybody's moving very well from what I can see. About 30 different TV screens. <laughs> Remember, a double dumbbell is on the cards for your step ups and lunges. You could do double dumbbell uh, squats as well on your shoulders. You can put a dumbbell behind your neck. Be inventive. Nice work, Aaron. Coming up on nine minutes, about six minutes to go. Yeah. AJ says he's getting a bead on now. I'm sure you guys are. You can never do enough of this stuff, people. Basics performed properly over time pay massive dividends to more complicated movements. Remember, we are not concerned of how fast we get through something. This is about how we get from point A to point B. Okay, we are hitting the five minute marker in about 10 seconds. We are coming into that five minute round. So try and change your position. If you haven't attempted something, mix it up. Find your limitations within your movement and then try and hammer it home, i.e. focus on your posture and position. Nice kit, liking that. I think we should give an award for the best prison dungeon Zoom, zoom <laughs> workout <laughs> scenario. Some good ones here tonight. Excellent. Helen, see if you can straighten your arms out for me a bit more. There you go. Good stuff. Nice work, Jason. Working on your red squat. Like it. Nice, Katie. Front squats. Good. Everybody has pretty much mixed things up from what I've seen, and that's good. If anything, people, this should show you how many different movements you can do with just one basic movement. So the squat, there's so many different variations you can do and so many ways you can challenge yourself. Same with the step up and same with the lunge. Nice work, Julia. We're coming up on three minutes soon. Let's try and keep moving, please. Keep going, Nadine. Keep going, Stalzy. Nice work over there, Sarah. Good squats, Rosie. They're looking good. Nice work, Heather. Just give me a more knee up, toe up for me, Heather. Just a bit more toe up at the finish. 
That's it. That's what I want to see. Lovely. Make sure so when you're on that step up, you push through that leg you're standing on. Straight leg. As AJ's coming up now, he is pushing hard down through the plates and making sure he is completely erect when he stands up. There he is. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> Two and a half minutes to go. Also, I'm sure a lot of you didn't know how much your furniture can be used for exercise movements. <laughs> There's some good uh, variations being used here. Two minutes now, people. We are coming up onto the 90 second mark. Love it, Polly, looking good. Double front squat kettlebells, love it. Keep going, people. We are moving now into the last minute. Everybody work until I say time, please. Good work, Hayley. You're going dot. Fifty seconds. Nice people. Very impressed tonight. Very impressed. 30 seconds. <sighs> 20 seconds, everybody. Let's keep working. 15 seconds. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time now, people. Well done, well, well done. All right, good to move, right? Good to get into the flow. One of those workouts where you can just keep moving. I really enjoy workouts like that. You can kind of uh, zone out and just get in tune with your body. All right. We're going to give you a couple of minutes. We're going to share screen back. And then we'll talk about part de tonight. <clears throat> right. How are we doing, AJ? Are we good, mate? Yeah? Cool. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit uh, low body pump. We are going to finish with a bit of a trunk pump now. Um, so let's just talk about this as you're kind of resting up. So we've got a 10 minute EMOM, 30 second plank hold with alternating hand reach. AJ is going to come into a plank position in a second, sorry. And then we've got 30 second plank hold with alternating leg pickup. So back to my glamorous assistant. We are forearms down, hands splayed. So put the forearms flat for me, AJ. Perfect. So you see how he's in this nice plank position here. He is now going to reach one arm out as far as he can and reach that. Uh, what I'm looking for is elbow to the ear. So watch again, elbow to the ear. Now you see his shift a little bit in his hips. What I want you to focus on is minimizing that shift. Okay. So show me excessive, AJ, where the hip will come really up. So I don't want to see this. You just bashing it through like this. This is getting nobody nowhere. Our focus is on the plank position and you try to get your arm out as far as you can while not raising your hips or lifting your hips, all right? So that's 30 seconds, first minute. The second minute, we're in the same position. We're gonna go front on for this, AJ, for the, for, for the folks at home. Just mop your bead, mate. 
<laughs> so plank position again for me, mate. We're not done with you yet. Get back on the floor. All right. Plank position. Watch his back leg. He's going to pick it up over the hurdle. Touchdown. Back over the hurdle. Back down. Swish side. Over the hurdle. Back down and over. Yes. So you heard the noises. He's making some funny noises. Yeah. Butt stuff. Now, with this one, uh, your hips will slightly come up. Please minimize how much so. All right. So it, is, it will happen, but please try to avoid being, you know, hips really high in the, in the air. I don't want to see that. Okay. Any questions? Thumbs up if that makes sense. Cool. So all you need is some floor space. I would put a towel down if you've been dripping because um, you might start slipping on your forearms. Um, if you struggle with moving through the 30 seconds and you can't, you know, move your arms out anymore, you can't move your legs out anymore, just hold a plank position for the remaining time. All right, so try your best to keep moving. And if you can't do any more, just hold a plank till I say rest. Cool. Right, I'm going to reset the clock. You get yourself into position. Try to have a position where I can see people. Some of you I know have got cameras up on whatnot. So if you could adjust your camera down, that would be great. And that way I can keep an eye on you, just like we would in class, right? No hiding. I know some of you are camera shy. I understand. I was once too. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do this last 10 minutes here we go 10 seconds we start a plank hold hand reach if you're confused watch aj three two one off we go so plank hold position reaching out with your hand yes extend good I would recommend maybe having your arm, uh, so your legs out a little wider at the back. So you've got a sort of a bigger base to work from. 10 seconds. Really extend out. I don't just want to see a little, uh, little jab. I want you to extend. Reach. Three, two, one. Relax. What's that film where he says, reach? Who was that? <laughs> Can't remember. 20 seconds. Okay. Waiting for it. 10 seconds. So now we're picking that leg up over that imaginary hurdle. Three, two, one. Plank pillar position. Pick that leg up over the hurdle. Pick it back up and back to where you started from. Good work, everybody. 20 seconds. If you're feeling your butt, good stuff. That's what we want. Anything else you can tell me later. 10 seconds. Up over the hurdle, people. Not out to your side. There's something in front of you. Two, one, rest. So in front of you, so behind you. You know what I mean? That's two done. Well, it's one round done. AJ, can you, can you just do an example of that? Yeah, of AJ, that? Can, you, can you do another example for Katie? She doesn't know what you're doing. No, no, it's not a joke, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Watching AJ. Here he is, quickly, because I've got to go back in. Picks up his leg, up and over, back over, and now. All right, in we go, people. Plank hold. Off we go, 30 seconds. <laughs> in we go. Reach in. Let's go, go, go. 20 seconds. Excellent stuff. Nice. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Do our legs have to go that high? Well, AJ's been excessive. <laughs> but you get the picture, right? <laughs> the main thing is pick it up over a hurdle. There might be a one-inch hurdle, but at least some form of hurdle, please. Uh, James, I haven't really got that much space, so can I just take it up straight up and down? That's fine, mate. Absolutely fine. 
you. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Picking it up. Moving it over. Nice. Yeah, that's fine, Ash. 20 seconds. 15. Nice work, Rosie. Keep those hips down best you can. Keep going, Polly. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Nice work, people. 20 seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Have a good time there, Burnsy. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Let's keep moving. Nice work. Good work, Johnny. 10 seconds. Resist those hips, people. Heather, resist those hips. Five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Good. Twenty seconds. <laughs> you right there, Doc? <laughs> Place down in the mat. <laughs> Ten seconds. Get ready. Five. Three. Two. One. Off we go. Off we go. We should be reaching with our arms, people. Am I right? Or oh, no, we're on legs. AJ, are you getting confused? Yeah, AJ's getting confused. <laughs> you carry on, people. You're doing great. <laughs> we got 10 seconds. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. Two more rounds and we're done for this evening. <clears throat> There you go, mate. <laughs> 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. Remember, we're trying to reach as far forward as we can. Hips down. Aaron, bring your hips down a bit more for me, mate. That's it. You should be on the flat of your forearms, not the edges of it. The meat of the forearm. Keep it going, people. Good job. The arm is coming straight out. It's not coming around. We're not swimming. Three, two, one, relax. Good. I'm seeing a few arms coming round for a haymaker. I want arms straight out in front, jab. Jab, jab, all right, 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. We're on to our leg pickup, and then we've got one more round. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, off we go. Good. Let's keep it going. Good work, June. 15 seconds, everybody. Keep picking that leg up as far as you can. <laughs> Beautiful, Joe. Liking that. Three, two, one. Excellent technique, Joe. Very good. <laughs> 30 seconds. Last round, people. Last round. <clears throat> Fifteen. Everybody in dead positions, yeah? Ten seconds. <laughs> yeah. 
Here we go. Five, three, two, one. Pillar hold, lock it in. Extend the arm forward. Excellent. Fifteen seconds. Well done, Kirsty. That's looking good. Keep going, Jace. Nice work, Andrew. Liking that. Nice extension, mate. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Relax. Good. All right. Last time on leg pickups. And then we are done. Done, done. Well, obviously, we're going to have a little stretch, of course. 20 seconds. 15. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five, three, two, one. Off we go. Pick it up. Put it back. Pick it up. Put it back. Nice work. Good work, Helen Young. Just try and keep those hips down a bit more if you can. Yeah, I know it's hard. Good work, Hannah Mead. People, you've got 10 seconds left. Hold it together. Five, three, two, one, time. Nice. Thumbs up if you had fun. Yeah, got some half thumbs, some thumbs down. Oh, rude. rude. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, I'm down. I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> no. No, no, okay. <laughs> right. Let's stretch off, people. I'll take you through some stretches. So we're going to go uh, just sit on our bum, classic feet together, butterfly position. Grab the end of your toes, leaning over. Thanks. Got to go and feed the kids. Don't blame me, Helen. Take it easy. Thanks for joining. Cooling down, everybody. Cooling down now. Thirty seconds. Another ten or so seconds, and then we'll move into another stretch. We're going to go both legs out in front now. Feet together. Reach as far down as you can. If you can't, just you know, stay where it feels great. Remember, when we're stretching off, cooling down, this is not a competition of how flexible you are. <clears throat> Trying to get the body back to a good equilibrium so you're ready for the next five days for those of you who are still chasing that attendance record. Ten or so seconds. Wide legs for me now, straddle position. Reach over to one leg, pull yourself down as far as you can. If not, grab your knee, grab your shin, whatever is good. Or if not, just stay seated up, hands by your sides. Some of you lot are very bendy. <laughs> good stuff. Switch sides. Let's roll onto our stomachs. <clears throat> and let's go for uh, Cobra, pushing up through the shoulders. Keep the arms straight. If not, stay Sphinx position. Speaking of Sphinxes, it's a fabulous documentary on ancient Egypt I watched last night. On Netflix, if you want to know, guys, I'll give you the details after this. All right, moving into child's pose. That transition, yeah, like it. Deep breath in. 
Exhale and relax. Well done, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, we, I won't see you now until Friday. Everybody else, enjoy tomorrow with well, Laura and then Thursday of AJ. Take care, people. Thanks, James. Thanks, AJ. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cheers, James. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. Take it easy. Cheers, mate. Oh, my God. Later. Later. Later.